That was me just taking a selfie from the latest in the foldables section from Samsung. This is the fifth generation of foldables. In the Z Flip 5. Last week, to look on a Samsung Unpacked. And at Samsung Unpacked, they launched their latest generation of devices. That was from the Z Flip 5, Z Fold 5, the Tab S9 series, and the Galaxy Watch 6 series, which I am currently donning and it looks pretty dapper. Now, you know, we just had an opportunity today to uh, have, uh, you know, hands-on on these devices. And let me tell you, I have seen all the generation of uh, the Z Flips from the original to the Z Flip 2, 3, 4, uh, which was last year's gen and Z Flip 5. And I must say for the, I don't want to say for the very first time, uh, but for the very first time, I really desire to own a Z Flip. I've always wanted the Fold, but for the very first time, Maze Natakaku own Z Flip. One, there is no gap. Like that was one of the, the, the things that uh, made the design, the aesthetics of the Z Flip a bit challenging. But ideally with this one, there is ideally no gap. Not even visible, there is no gap. So the phone... Uh, folds completely into two and I mean aesthetically this is this is a beauty it's a beauty from uh, the back glass panel um, with gorilla glass victors to the front uh, cover display which ideally went up to 3.4 inches so it is much more easier to use I mean you can do a lot on this you can text you can uh, take selfies and mind you they are very pretty selfies especially because it takes selfies from the main cameras in the phone. So I think Samsung really nailed it on the Z Flip 5. And this is ideally just gonna be my first impressions. I don't want to dive deep into the nitty gritties and the what nots, but for the for the first time, Nimeangalia flip nanika nanika ipenda. You know, uh, when you look at display, uh Iapa engine 3.4 inches or may increase. When you go inside, it's a 6.7. So it unfolds into a fully uh, fledged smartphone. That's a 6.7 inch smartphone, uh, 120 hertz of, um, of smooth refresh rate, goes all the way up to 1750 7, nits of peak brightness. So outside in the sun, Ikitu Utayona V50, V50 Sana. It comes with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 mobile platform for, for Galaxy World. That's what they call it. But ideally, you're getting the best in performance. All of them, are uh, they top up at uh, 8 GB of RAM, but you have a 256 or a 512 GB uh, option. But ideally, uh, sometimes when you, especially when you come into the foldable lineage, you're not just buying a phone for what it can do, you're also buying a phone for how beautiful it looks. And this one ticks all the boxes. One, the pocketability, I wish I had a shirt with a pocket. It just shows it fits snug into the pocket. It's not heavy, but it packs, it packs well. It, it, it has all day battery life. I mean, you can use this from morning to, to evening. Um, when you when you ukopale kwa meeting ama ukopale kwa base you don't really need to unfold the entire device ndio uweze kuongea na watu you just respond from uh, from this screen you can type your messages the 3.4 inches was really the the improvement that that was required to snag what was saying to this direction in a campaign na colors fit kama hii ni Okay, in a car pinkish. <laughs> but these color options are very, very nice. It, they, they picked those pastel options, which make the phone really uh, attractive. So, Z Flip 5, for the very first time, ne nime takasana ku own a Z Flip, especially because of how aesthetically beautiful this looks. And this is the thing, it's not only beautiful, but it packs in performance. AGB, RAM, uh, storage moves all the way to U UFS 4.0. So this thing is pretty snappy when it comes to, uh, you know, transfer, writing data speeds. It's really snappy. Uh, Performance-wise, it's it's the it's a beast. The agent uh, two platform. When you look at charging, I mean, 25 watts, uh, ultra super fast charging. So ideally, any same way you tick both the right boxes. One. It's a powerful powerhouse. Two, it's 
comes in two form factors. It's actually one form factor, but uh, you get to the full form when it's unfolded and this uh, amazing, nice flip uh, style. And I mean, it comes with all the benefits of that because um, when you go into flex mode, when you're watching, uh, when you're taking a, uh, a selfie now with the front camera uh, or you're having a conversation on Google Meet, uh, WhatsApp call, any, uh, you're just having a call and I'm uh, a kwa camera and you need to use the phone, you can use the phone itself come a selfie stick because you just prop it up on flex mode. Uh, all the things go up and I mean you can do all that so even if you're when him say una meetings my google meet when him say office uh, when him say trendy now you're looking for something that you can uh, do quite a lot on this happens to be that because I can have all my conversations with my people uh, on 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 all the platforms just by propping up the phone itself camera uh, selfie stick on flex mode and that's something pretty nice to do now uh, even when you're watching your content ile time utaki makasiriko you just pop it up on a vitu zako and you get to enjoy so this and ideally that answers the question as to why 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 the flip why foldables because you have so many things you can do in one phone it's a full phone i mean you get to enjoy all the amazing things of a full phone but ile time una 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 songa nayo for portability nika light this is thing is i it's lighter than i actually imagined so it ticks for me all the right boxes and i can't wait to use this um phone and, and tell you guys what i truly think about it after using it but just by looking at it i like the fact that they have done their best when it comes to uh hinge uh, the hinge is also pretty snappy it closes tight it when you prop it to flex mode this it does not wiggle uh, it stays that way so they've done an amazing job with the hinge they have done an amazing job with reducing the gap they have also done an amazing job with the front display and these are the small meaningful improvements that we've got from Samsung on the Z Flip 5 that actually make it uh fit into the contending space for your money i mean and this is value for your money it's just like my S23 but the fact that i can now fold it into a form factor that it's nice so come on him same trendy na una tafuta kitu trendy i mean this should be something that you should look out for so i don't want to dive deep into the details and the nitty gritties Uh, because at the end of the day what really matters is how does it uh, use how does it perform on a daily basis and that i will bring to you in our full review but as of just seeing the phone itself this is a beautiful device that you can get to own for yourself so tunane tukikuja kwa full review but nitawa show just from using the phone itself camera zake ni fiti we took a selfie Uh, the selfie when you prop it up on flex mode i mean this is pretty interesting and uh, i don't want to say much more because i will start drooling over the phone it it is a, a powerful beast at the end of the day as much as it is a beauty to behold but sitonane uh, kwa the actual review video where ntawambia all the interesting stuff i've gotten to see and use from the Galaxy Z Flip 5 but outside the box it ticks all the right boxes and the improvements they've done are meaningful steady na zina make e experience iku worth it but it's a wrap from us guys for this one see you on the next one peace out